What it is, what it ain't. You already know it's Top Cat 100 going hard in the paint. The Real Fear TV, which you know you tuned into. Let's go don't get it out of the way. Salute to the whole 100 mob, man. I'm back up in the building, man. We got to get some things, man. We got to take care of some, man, real quick, man. Salute to all the love that's giving. You already know it's giving back, man. To all my haters, your mother favors a Romanian chamois. The whore is located from East Europe, man. Straight up and down, man. And your sister's underarms smell like a Big Mac, man. Now go in the corner and listen to Kia Shine. That's your favorite Memphis artist. When everybody want to listen to Yo Gotti and Young Dolphin, Black Youngster, you know what I'm talking about? You want to come with this nigga. So you go and you listen to him. We don't want to hear it no more, man. Straight up and down, brother. Now, with that being said, man, we got a lot of things talking to, man, because obviously Smooth RB got up in his feelings and he wanted to mention me. You know what I'm saying? So we want to state some facts in this video, man. And I want to start off with one fact. One fact is you favor a Malaysian gerbil. You know what I'm saying? Now, you talk all this stuff about people ratting, and your whole persona and your whole get up is talking about and exposing rats. But you look like a direct rodent in the rodent family. You see what I'm saying? You can't look like a rabbit and a gerbil and then try to expose rats when you related to them and you cousins. You know what I'm saying? And that's first of all. Second of all is you not already expose yourself. Now, you want to send, you know what I'm saying, these overdressed that Ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? You know, Lil Rodney or whoever his name is, get up in my DM and ask me this and ask me all that. Nigga, that up, man. This nigga favor a Pomeranian in the face, man. And this nigga sitting up here asking me about some police and police that. Man, shout out to Mr. Man. You know what I mean when I say that, don't you, Lil Rodney? But anyway, we won't get on that. Let's just get back up on smooth real quick, man, because I was trying to be neutral and trying to be respectful with it, bro, but I'm not no sucker, bro. I'm not just a blog. I'm a man first at the end of the day. Now, let's talk to each other. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to talk to you real quick. Now, how long you think your career going to go and how long you think you going to stand on exposing rats and being an exterminator, bro? Now, an exterminator, part of his job is to exterminate something when he find the pest problem. You ain't exterminate nobody. Now, it's a song by Tupac called Homeboys. You know what I'm saying? And that describes people like you. Because if you always got to stand next to people, you always need a ratchet. You know what I'm saying? We know you ain't about to walk around here with no ratchet and no group of niggas and do all this exposing that you so-called did. You already had an interview stating that when you were back there, everybody back there wanted you. And they were telling you want no guns back there. You know what I'm saying? Now, previously, in your stints in the Paris, you know what I'm saying? You know, it been people that done expose you, getting your teeth knocked out. You see what I'm saying? So your whole fronts is, you know what I'm saying, basically gummies. You know what I'm saying? Gummy worms. You know what I'm talking about? That ain't real. So so I ain't trying to hurt all this, man. Everybody that you try to expose, you know what I'm saying, you can't beat up in a fight. You see what I'm saying? You are the exact example of the type of guy that do need a ratchet. You know what I'm saying? And you're making this on yourself that you need a ratchet because you could be spreading love and you could be doing collabs with TBG. You could be doing collabs with, you know me, Annie Kane. You know what I'm saying? But the fact is you want to start trouble with everybody and nobody is telling you about yourself. You completely expose yourself in the interview that you previously had and say that as long as people know you, that's your goal, basically. That's basically what you said to sum it all up. So we already know that you out here for clout. You see what I'm saying? So we need to just go ahead on and stop you in your tracks, man. You know what I'm saying? Because nothing that you talk about is really active for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by active is that you're not going out here and doing anything. It don't matter if you got steppers or whatever. I'm tired of people saying they got steppers. What about you? You see what I'm saying? Now, you had an unfortunate incident. You know what I'm saying? Well, it said, word through the wind, is that, you know what I'm saying, your people, which is your brother, you know what I'm saying, the people that he was cool with had did that to him or whatever, you know what I mean? Allegedly. You see what I'm saying? Now, you may as well focus on that, you know what I'm saying? But you want to focus on bloggers just making videos on what's already public knowledge. I don't understand why you getting other people to come inside my DM 
them keep talking about this and that person ratting and this and that person talking about police and all that. You niggas is the police. The first thing y'all do is run to the internet for attention. You know what I'm saying? It's a few people that keep it solid. You see what I'm saying? But let this be a note that everybody that I talk about from the east to the west to the midwest or whoever name I say or whatever, bro, you're not going to check me. You're not going to stop me from doing what I do. I do what I do and I do it well, bro. And I do it my way. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to get at me, get at me inside a DM like a real man. Don't try to, you know, throw my name in your mentions and put it up on your timeline, then take it down and stuff like that, bro, because you know you messed up. You see what I'm saying? You pineapple head nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to get too disrespectful because you ain't get too disrespectful. Now, you come for me again, I'm going to get disrespectful, bro, because I'm not no chump. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no peanut butter and jelly ass nigga just because I be up here telling y'all how I feel and they laugh at it. They think it's jokes. It's insults. That's what I aim to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not talking to nobody around Smooth RB. I'm talking about you. You need to stand on your own, too. See, I'm going to make you be a man if you're going to go at me. See, you ain't going to be able to run to nobody else. You're going to speak your piece, and you're going to stand on your piece. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you weak. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ever asked you to rumble, you ain't want to rumble them. You know what I mean? From Scotty Kane to Dame Kane to Boo Sutter. You know what I mean? Free Boo Sutter. You know what I'm saying? It was word through the wind that Shooter Head just shook. You see what I'm saying? His homeboy. So stop it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to throw hands with nobody. All you trying to do is send other people to go handle your problems, bro. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? I say 60% of you niggas do. Send somebody else to handle your problem. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you ain't active. You you know what I'm saying? It's word through the wind that people done put that iron on you. No, I mean on occasions. So what are you gonna do about that smooth silk? You feel me? So with that being said, man, keep the real field TV out of all y'all mouth. No, I mean whoever got a problem with what I'm saying. With that being said, holler back like X 